The American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose has done an excellent job of producing top fighters. AKA's talent has been shown in a variety of weight classes and organizations. Javier Mendez has assembled a formidable group of professional athletes. The American Kickboxing Academy has been questioned regarding the amount of training time its fighters put in. Aside from the unfortunate injuries, this demonstrates that the talent on the team is of a different breed. Let's take a look at some of the top fighters from the American Kickboxing Academy. Number 5. Luke Rockhold. Luke hails from California, USA, and has a background in judo, wrestling and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He debuted in professional MMA in 2007 and came to the UFC in 2013. For the majority of his career, Luke has represented American Kickboxing Academy. Rockhold, the last man to hold a Strike Force middleweight championship, entered the UFC on a nine-fight winning streak that included victories over Tim Kennedy and Jacare Souza. Luke didn't have the start he desired, but his UFC career took off after his first loss. On his way to the title, Rockhold would finish his following four fights. Chris Weidman, who was undefeated at the time, stood in the way of Luke and the belt in 2015. Rockhold would win by TKO in the fourth round, bringing the UFC middleweight title to AKA in San Jose. Number 4. BJ Penn. Penn grew up in Hawaii and later moved to California, USA, where he began practicing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. At the 2000 World Jiu-Jitsu Championship, he became the first non-Brazilian to win the black belt division. BJ started his MMA career in 2001 in the UFC and became the UFC champion in the lightweight and welterweight divisions. BJ is a legend in mixed martial arts and is widely regarded as one of the best UFC fighters to have set foot in the octagon. Many even believe that Penn is the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the history of the sport. He destroyed opponent after opponent, fighting only the best. The record of 16-14-2 is misleading, but the names on it are not. Penn has a history with Javier Mendez and has been a part of some UFC greatest highlights that will live on in promotional work forever. Number 3. Cain Velasquez. Cain grew up in Arizona, USA. In 2006 he graduated from Arizona State University, the same year he made his MMA debut in Strike Force. Two years later, Velasquez debuted in the UFC. Cain obtains the most respect from his AKA peers at the highest level. He dominated the heavyweight division for a while, winning over great opponents. Velasquez had his hand raised against the likes of Brock Lesnar, Junior Dos Santos, and Antonio Noguera, winning 12 of his 14 fights via KO and TKO. Kane retired in 2019, finishing with a 14-3 record in the sport. Kane's career was hampered by injuries, but fans witnessed greatness every time he entered the cage. Velasquez remains a front-runner when considering the heavyweight division's greatest, having put up some of the best performances the division has to offer. Number 2. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Khabib grew up in Dagestan, Russia, and is a two-time combat sambo world champion. He made his professional MMA debut in 2008, and in 2012, Khabib started training at AKA, the same year he joined the UFC. Whether it's Daniel Cormier's teasing in broken English or Javier Mendez's Instagram posts, it's clear that Khabib is part of the AKA family. The Eagle vacated his lightweight belt following an emotional victory against Justin Gaethje, ending his career at 29-0. The MMA community was shocked by Nurmagomedov's retirement. Khabib is not just one of the top fighters from AKA, but widely recognized as one of the greatest MMA fighters of all time, with a perfect record in the most dominant career fans have ever seen in the UFC. Today, Khabib works as a promoter and MMA coach. Number 1. Daniel Cormier. Daniel was born and raised in Louisiana, USA. He debuted in professional MMA in 2009 and went on to win world championships in Strike Force and Extreme MMA before joining the UFC in 2013. Cormier accomplished so much in his career that listing his achievements would be a list in and of itself. The former Olympian and UFC light heavyweight and heavyweight champion has overcome adversity throughout his life to achieve success as an athlete and as a person. DC continues to serve as a commentator for the UFC and can be heard at most pay-per-view events. He brings wrestlers from his former university, Oklahoma State, and California in the same way that Khabib brings aka Russian athletes. Cormier's personality, leadership, and achievements make him a standout among aka fighters. If you like the content, please like and subscribe for more. Check out other incredible achievements and charismatic personalities on my channel. Link on the screen somewhere and in the description.